Hey guys, Lexi Alice here, and today I'm going to show you my impressive lab that I've built in Minecraft. I'm quite chuffed with it. And I'm going to stand back a little bit and let you see it in the distance. Sorry for the little bit of lag, the game's still rendering outside, as you can see, there's still parts being rendered. So if you look here, uh, this is the underwater tunnel 1 that I'm working on to make the lab. So the lab will have an underground water tunnel, as you can see, it goes under the water. Front part is the observation area 2. So over there is also iron golems, that's there there in case something does break in, which won't, but just in case something does break in there there, that's observation area 1. So those are two observation areas. So you can look outside and see what's going on outside without actually going out and getting and risking getting injured. It's also a safely shelter here, safe in the rain. There's a sign, like the Alice Laboratory, now let's go inside. Now, I have spent so much time making sure you close the doors. All the doors in here are iron. So even playing on the hardest difficulty, eh, nothing can break them down, so we'll see if I'm going to get the iron golem to protect it as well. Again, this part here is now observatory area to look at this other part. Forest area here, this part here as well. It's quite, you feel dead safe and there's creepers going by and they can't do it. Again, you can see the rest of the labs, that's that. Observation area, close that there. Well, let's explore, here's the underwater tunnel part. It's still on this construction, but I'll just show you the start for now. I'm not going to go all the way down. Go so you can see what's going on. There's the entrance. The doors are nice and safe, sealed. So, yeah, that's all pretty good. Lock that. Observation area 2 here. Go through here, iron golem protects you. Look through here, you can see outside. Uh, good enough. So yeah, we go through here, close that. And um, this is my sleeping area, I'm thinking of improving it though and making it go further into the wall there and having guest rooms, as you can see it's in here. Entrance to underground laboratories, these doors must be kept closed at all times. Trust me, you'll see why. There's normally a cart here, which should be launched by this switch. There's a massive railroad system that goes all the way down, there's five floors. This is the first floor here, as you can see, level B1 labs. Let's explore here. Now, these areas are so big that I've had to actually implement a, a cart system to get through them. As you can see here, oh, here we go. Bye bye, humanity. This is the first level. Five levels in the lab. Well, four on the ground levels plus the ground levels, so overall five levels. And the underwater tunnel should have three levels: the B1 level, B2, and B3 levels. There's a sec. There's sector A. The lab is split into sectors, so they'll have sector. So I have like a level B1 sector A. So there's, there's so many areas. I mean, about six different sectors in the, this whole lab links off to about six different areas inside Minecraft. Each with hazards, so as you can see, uh, I've sealed them all off carefully. One problem you need to be careful of is if you die in these areas, the lab will be open, the lab doors will, might be open, you need to mine through them and get back in. As you can see, it's a long, long tunnel. This laboratory took uh, me a very long time to build, as you can see, and this is just the first level, so see enough of that. Let's go back and explore the rest. So, I was actually excavating further in there, I've been having a bit of problems, so. You see it's happening. Also, there's a wee bit of a glitch. I've noticed sometimes there's no sound with the when you're on the carts, which is weird. Don't know why, but it's not a big a deal. Not as smooth as frame rate because the game's going fast and rendering and stuff like that. So, that's some record up the screen recorder, which will slow it down. Anyway, here we go. There's sector A there. I would explore it, but I don't want to go too far, so I'm just pointing out where they are. We'll just explore in the lab area. I might do other videos where I go to different sectors, although I'll probably need to do one sector per video, so it'll be about 8 videos, 6 to 8 videos to do them all. Because, like I said, the lab is uh, massive. As you can see, this is just the first floor. Uh, I've spent a lot of time, I mean, I, I, I think I've been working on this for over 2 years. Uh, on and off, working on it for over 2 years. So it's um, a big place. I'm going to go down here. <coughs> Sector B2, more labs. As you can see, sectors are labs. The labs are just 
the sea laboratory it's mainly just experiment and like exploration labs and stuff um, as you can see, notice how the tunnels are very well lit, so when you play, no matter what difficulty you play on, nothing will spawn in because they're very well lit. As you can see, all the all of them are uh, on the left hand side, apart from that one which is on the right hand side due to me having to manoeuvre it around to make room for the railroad system. Now, the whole purpose of that is, when you're in these tunnels, you can get lost quite easily because they're a long mass of tunnels. So there's sector B I believe there, and um, this part is sector B. There we go, here's sector B. So when you get lost, you need to know what direction you're going. So if you're going forward, all the lanterns will be on the left side, and if you're going backwards, they'll be on the right side. So it's easy to uh, navigate in case you get lost in these tunnels. So that's us, that's me just showing us uh, level B2. We're going to go and show you level B3 now. Now, there's some parts that I have to do a lot of work on. Um, so one of the sectors I had to seal and put a warning sign up for myself, because um, like I said, I'm on for two years. If I work on something that I done, started doing about a year ago, and I forget about it, there could be a water hazard or something that I could just mine through. So I've had to put warning signs up. This place says do dangerous to mining, especially for track collect ores. I mean, I've lost all sorts of ores, iron, diamond, gold, all sorts, being killed by these random threats because I hadn't properly signposted it where they were. Let's go down here. Here's sector B3. Go. Start off the old tunnel. Oh, there's another sector. B3 has, that's a flooded sector. I think I'll try and show you that actually, just as we go back along. Yeah, sector B. Sector A is along that flooded area. Sector B there, we just pass. Sector B is very dangerous. Uh, sector C is there. I believe Sector D. I'm not sure if it's a Sector D, I can't remember. I was doing some, doing some excavating a while ago and see what it came up with, so uh, Sector C and uh, B are quite dangerous due to the fact that there's, there's just so much stuff um, and here we are, Sector D so now it's here enough, we'll head back along, I'll try and show you the flooded area that is Sector, wait a second oh, I think I've forgotten to do something here hmm. did I forget to put a switch or something there? Oh yeah, that switch controls the door as well. It opens the door and activates the power thing. That's not, ah yeah, that's nothing. I need to place a switch here. Forgot about that. I think you might want to have one in my inventory. No, I don't. Let's see if I might, I might make one. Let's see if I can make one. That's gravel. That won't work. How do I make a switch again? Is it? There we go. A switch. Lever. No, pick that up. Ah. There, yeah, leave it, leave it, go here. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, done that one. There we go, problem solved. So, I bought a little setback, guys. Overlooked it. It should be sorted now. Yeah, if we just get, get pushed up. There we go. Now, go try and show you Sector A. Sector A has its own sort of. Basically, it has its own. Switch system and stuff. So. Oh, yeah, was that the wrong way? The wrong sector? I think it might be. Doesn't matter, I'll just run along and see until I find it. Just as a quite a sharp turn when you see it, it's like, oh, there it is, boom, it's gone. As you can see, the, the game's still loading. All the parts you see are all parts of the lab, so again, the lab is. There we go, sector one. Just get inside the tram system. I believe that's the part that's flooded, uh, sector A, here, can't remember, so many, that's what I mean about I need to signpost them, um, not must be off level, it must be causing the problems then, strange, uh, let's go back and explore the fourth area, now the fourth area is uh, massive, I'm not going to go all the way through the fourth area because the fourth area is just absolutely, it's, it's just massive, I mean it's, it's, it's almost, <laughs> the video would take so long to go. The fourth area, the fourth level is the longest of all the levels. It's also one of the hardest to navigate because it's so dark. The bottom is as far deep. It's as deep as you can go in Minecraft. And I'll show you that when we go down there. So let's head down to the fourth level. As you can see, it's a lot further down. The drop is compared to the other ones. It's a lot further. 
So this would not be the fourth level, and then the bottom be the fifth. But I might, I might excavate and add in a fifth level here, up there where you just seen a fourth level, and change this to the fifth level, and give this whole part five, uh, five on the ground levels. But I'm not sure yet. So there we go. Level B for labs and cells. Now I'll show you the cells in a minute. As you can see, this is a lot darker, even though it's well lit. See these here? Can't mind them. That's the game. That's the bottom of the game. This was the very, very bottom of the game. We went from being to the very top of the game to as far down the game as you can go. So this is a. Uh, these are hard to navigate because here that dark part. You don't have that up now, ones. Let's look at the cells, okay? The cells. You got some prisoners inside here. These are very dangerous cells, and uh, for good reason too. If you look inside. Um, this is what I put here, build these cells. This is one of the most dangerous places to excavate because there's so much lava. As you can see here, see how that marker there shows us lava? I believe the earlier versions of Minecraft didn't have that, so that's when I mined this area. And I just mined through and didn't notice it, and it was just mine, mine, oh, lava, mine, mine, oh, lava, and it was just... As you can see, here we go, there's some of the, the cells, but we keep some of the lava experiments or some iron golem. And there, beds and everything. So. There's one of these, a snow golem in there. Let's see if it says hi. Hi, snow golem. I'll probably try and get out of this cell, so. Make sure I'm not in the cell. See, so if you look inside, you can actually see a snowman's head. See that? See inside there? Look inside carefully. You can see snowman's sort of face smiling back there. There we go. Happy snowman face. I can lock it if it tries to get out. There's a big group of them here. Let's see if one of them will try and get out. Oh, hi there. I think someone else is to get my see if one and we'll try and get it. That'd be fun if it did. Oh, oh no, 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 don't you dare. Let's try and get it. Try and get it. Oh, too late for you. See? So you need to be careful of these ones. Also, these are good because they have an unlimited amount of snow. So if I need snow and I don't want to travel to a snowy area, I just come down here, enter one of these cells, and just speed up the old snow. My speed. So on a good part is uh, if I need something invades, I can come down here and just release all these guys and they'll protect me. And let's see these guys turned against me, not like they would, but like to fantasize. See that lava part there? Mine, 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 and I walk out and seal the door. And this whole place will be flooded with lava. See all this? Mine, mine, this mine, literally mine as I'm running along. And let the lava flow. And then I'll just run out. As fast as I can out of here. To the door. Notice how it's uh, long and windy. That's on puppets. <laughs> Seal the door. And the lava infested area is there. So, this is how long. This is probably one of the longest tunnels in the game. In fact, I will. I'll get. I built the tram system on puppets because of these tunnels. So, if a tram system is back here, it should be. I'll show you the tunnels in the tram system. It's just quite a long trip, even inside the, the tram. So, this is the reason I had to implement this system is because of how slow it was to get around. So, as you can see, this is speed up the bit once I hit the first power grid. There we go. Boom, there we go. Now, as you can see, the tram's going a lot faster. Uh, I put in the power grids closer to each other. I normally do them about 10 blocks apart, but uh, these ones are a bit closer. So, it just means that it goes faster. And because it's a longer time, I mean, look how long this is. Just there, uh, what you'll see. This is the lo longest area. And again, the torch is the only reason you'll know where you're going. Because if you get lost, or you save the game and come back a few days later to this game, and you can't remember what you were doing last time, yeah, it can get very confusing. So, yeah, uh, we're just going all the way along. The tunnel here. Let's you see why I built the tram system guys? Because this game without the tram system, eh, this laboratory is a bitch. <laughs> As you can see, and there's a sector 3. So, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Sector B is there. It's an excellent redstone place. Sector B is full of redstone. It's very, very rich in uh, redstone and ores and stuff. So I kept it. It's also very dangerous because it goes to parts of the lab which are just 
sealed off and they, they have lots of water and lots of lava and it's very dangerous. I, when, I, when I play Minecraft, when I build, I, I, I'm, this isn't creative mode, I'm playing this in survival mode so I play in peaceful when I build but I switch it up whenever I feel like doing a bit of exploring and feel like a bit of scare and a bit of battle. So yeah, um, when everyone, everyone that's sitting going on, oh, that's easy to do. This is on survival mode. Everything you see that's here, I've had to go diving into tunnels to mine to get well avoiding enemies and stuff to get. I only recently started playing in peaceful because it was just easier to do. Plus I got the fun out of exploring and I wasn't getting killed and losing as many ores and stuff. So just started doing that. So yeah, this wasn't on a uh, creative mode, this is in survival about this. So everything you see is uh, yeah. <laughs> I had to go and get inside these sectors. The sectors you see are actually tunnels that I used to explore to grab uh, materials. If you look here, this is a tunnel, the system I told you about before, which will take us up to the top without a ball. So if you look here, it will take us to the very top of the laboratory. It's also good if I wanted to escape, if I got to lock the door and there were zombies or something coming, I just run up here and be going nice and safe. As you see, everything's positioned perfectly, so it just hits no more. So. So that's B1 and at the top there. There we go. Seal those doors, make sure. And uh, there we go, guys. That's the two LXL laboratories. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. As you can see, it's a nicer day now. LXL Slab. So, there you go, guys. There's the two LXL Slab. So, you've enjoyed it. Um, it certainly took me a lot of time to make. So. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day and um, please uh, if you have AR, some of the things that you've built, remember leave them in the comments, um, just show me them, leave them in the comments, send me them, attach a video, reply to this video with a response of some stuff and some of the stuff you've built, I'd like to see it, uh, Minecraft's probably one of my favourite games, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day.